You are about to see a retelling of a story that has put fear into the hearts of many. May I present to you a version of the Twilight Zone tale, known simply as The Hitchhiker. Her name is Nan Adams. She's 27 years old. Her occupation, buyer at a New York department store, at present on vacation, driving cross-country to Los Angeles, California, from Manhattan. Minor incident on Highway 11 in Pennsylvania. Perhaps to be filed away under accidents you walk away from. But from this moment on, Nan Adams's companion on a trip to California will be terror. Her route fear, her destination, quite unknown. Nan Adams was on a cross-country road trip from New York City to Los Angeles when her journey took an unexpected turn. While driving on U.S. Route 11 in Pennsylvania, she experienced a blowout and lost control of her car, skidding onto the shoulder. Fortunately, she survived the ordeal and a mechanic arrived to help. The mechanic, surprised by her survival, remarked, You shouldn't have called for a mechanic. Somebody should have called for a hearse. He directed her to follow him into town for a new tire. As Nan drove away from the blowout site, she noticed a shabby, strange-looking man hitchhiking. She brushed off the encounter but soon saw the same hitchhiker again at the service station in town. When she mentioned him to the mechanic, he claimed he didn't see anyone. Unnerved, Nan continued her trip, only to see the hitchhiker multiple times as she drove through Virginia and beyond. Nan's fear grew each time she spotted the hitchhiker. At one point, while stopped at a railroad crossing, she saw him standing on the other side of the tracks. Panic set in when her car stalled on the tracks as a train approached. Miraculously, she restarted the car and backed up just in time. Convinced the hitchhiker was trying to kill her, Nan drove on, increasingly paranoid and stopping only when absolutely necessary. Yet, every time she stopped, there he was, always ahead of her. In New Mexico, Nan took a side road but ran out of gas. She reached a closed gas station on foot and roused the proprietor who refused to sell her gas at such a late hour. Desperate and frightened, she encountered a sailor on his way back to San Diego. She offered to drive him there in exchange for protection. The sailor agreed and persuaded the station attendant to provide gas. As they drove, Nan confided in the sailor about her fears. When she saw the hitchhiker again, she swerved toward him, but the sailor, unable to see the man, questioned her actions. Realizing Nan's state of mind, the sailor grew fearful and decided to leave her, despite her pleas for him to stay. In Arizona, Nan stopped to call her mother in Manhattan. The woman who answered the phone delivered shocking news. Mrs. Adams was in the hospital after a nervous breakdown, triggered by the death of her daughter, Nan, six days ago. Nan had died in the car accident in Pennsylvania. Stunned, Nan realized the horrifying truth. She hadn't survived the blowout. The hitchhiker wasn't a menace trying to kill her. He was the personification of death, patiently waiting for her to accept her fate. Numb with the revelation, Nan returned to her car and looked in the vanity mirror. Instead of her reflection, she saw the hitchhiker, who finally spoke. I believe you're going my way. Nan Adams, age 27. She was driving to California, to Los Angeles. She didn't make it. There was a detour through the twilight zone.